What make an agreement binding and enforceable? Here's what. According to Indonesian Civil Code, Article 1320, it regulates concerning forming a legitimate and binding contract. Number one, parties that are concluded in that contract, they must be consent. Number two, still relating to the subject, that those people or parties concluded, they must be deemed by law capable of making contract. And number three, there is a clear object, there is value. Number four, it is for an admissible cause. What does it mean? It's not against law or any regulation. If the subjective conditions are not met, then the agreement can be cancelled with voidable claim and will result in constitutive verdict. Meanwhile, if the objective conditions aren't met, then the agreement is null and void, and the lawsuit resulting in a declaratory decision or verdict. Now let's talk about nominee agreement. Is a nominee agreement based on consent and there is a clear object? The answer is yes. However, it doesn't need the element number four, which is for admissible cause. Nominee agreement is usually used to circumvent certain regulations, which is some because they want to get land in Indonesia to get the benefit, the benefit from the Esheim or the freehold title on in, in the event of investment, then because they want to circumvent the tax. There are four types that are usually used by beneficiary to materialize nominee agreement to obtain land for foreigners, usually land ownership agreement. This include power of attorney. The nominee will acknowledge that the land registered under his name and behind those land will be controlled by the foreigners. Beneficiary who provides the fund to purchase the land will have everything and control the operations of that land. And in addition to that, the nominee will provide an irrevocable power of attorney to authorize the beneficiary to conduct any activities on the land. Number two, option agreement. This is another scheme the nominee and beneficiary will do. They will provide the beneficiary, I mean the nominee will provide beneficiary with option to purchase the land that was purchased by the nominee with the beneficiary's phone. Very tricky, very smart. Three, lease agreement. The nominee will lease the land to the beneficiary for a certain lease period with an option for an extension. And last one, there's another scheme. Grant with testament or hibah wasiat. This, the nominee will grant his land or her land and properties to the beneficiary. Last one, loan agreement. This can another one that often use, where the beneficiary will provide a certain fund as a loan for the nominee to purchase the land. Following the loan agreement, the beneficiary and the nominee will enter into arrangement agreement which uses the respective land as the collateral for the loan. And those are illegal. Agreement fundamentally come from the principle of factor sun servanda, meaning that every individual are grant freedom to bind themselves with contract, to enter a contract or not to enter a contract. However, to make a legitimate agreement, it has to be fulfilled with those what we just mentioned earlier. So, are you involved in a nominee agreement? Have a look.